right. Good morning, church. Good to be here with you. Would you stand to your feet? We're going to worship and come into just the awareness that God's presence is here in this place. We were made to worship him and that this is the church that he loves, that he adores, that he came here for. Uh, And so let's come and let's offer ourselves. uh, The Bible says to offer ourselves as a living sacrifice. Now, don't get afraid. Because, you know, God God is holy, God is good, but what he really wants is he wants all that we are. Um, and so whatever it is to offer, just as a, a fresh offering, whether it's, it's your thoughts, it's your heart you want to give, or even just your bodies in this time, um, to come and just express your, your thanksgiving, your love, your adoration to him. Let's do it, yeah? Does that sound good? I'm going to pray for us. So, Lord, we welcome your presence in this place. Would you open our hearts and our minds, Lord, our thoughts to be fully aware that you are present with us, that you are faithful, that you are good, that you are holy, that you are worthy, that you are everything we were made for. And so, Lord, we ask that you would come, that you would unify your body in this time, Lord, that we would be one, Lord, and Jesus, just as you desire that we would be one with you one with your heart. So come and speak to us. Have your way. There's nothing truly that we want more. And God, if there are things in our hearts which are taking a place above you, then Lord, we ask that you would come, that you would take those things off the altar, Lord, and that you would show us your unfailing, everlasting love. You are good. You are our God. We love you. We worship you. And everybody said, amen.
good, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that you hear every one of our prayers. Thank you, Lord, even when we don't know how to pray it, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Teach us, Lord, how to lean into your strength. Teach us how to cry out to you, Lord. It's your Holy Spirit. You draw us to you every time. Even if we don't know you yet, you're drawing us towards you, Lord. Those that don't know you yet, Lord, I pray they know you today.
didn't create ourselves. <laughs> We're going to do a new song this morning, uh, and before we introduce it, I want to read a, a passage from Colossians 1, verse 15. It says, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, 
visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. That in everything he might be preeminent. Amen. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. And through him to reconcile himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. So good. But I love that part where he is preeminent. Everything he might be preeminent, surpassing everything else. And it's just true. <laughs> he holds the greatest authority, power. There's no one like him. And in our hearts too. And I think that's what I feel the Holy Spirit leading this morning, that he's, he's searching our hearts. And that we would just allow him to do that. And that he's kind to do that, to, to look and, and go deep. Because he wants, to, he wants to be first in us. So Lord, we welcome you. Jesus, in us, let there be no other love, nothing greater, no idol that stands, no dream or ambition, nothing. But will we see you so clearly now? Will we know your presence? And God, we're, we wanna be so bold to ask that your presence and your glory would come and inhabit our praise. To you be the glory, Jesus, we all pray. We're gonna teach you this chorus before we, we do this song. And all is for your glory. And all is for your name. Yeah. 